Ano yung food na dapat kainin after braces installation and every after brace adjustment? Ano yung mga struggles na... Ano yung procedure sa pagpapakabit ng braces? How much would it cost? How painful it really is? Hello everyone! This is Niza again and welcome back to my channel. Maraming salamat po sa patuloy niyong panunood at pagsuporta sa mga videos ko and I hope you are getting something from it. And yes, today we're going to talk about braces. Like one year ago, before I had my braces on, I crazily had a lot of questions. Like one month before my braces installation, I researched about all my questions I had about having braces. Ano yung food na dapat kainin after braces installation and every after brace adjustment? Ano yung mga struggles na na-experience na mga bago pa lang nagpakabit ng braces? And uh, ano yung procedure sa pagpapakabit ng braces? How much would it cost? And how painful it really is? So, things like that. I really had lots of questions about braces. So, this is my way of paying forward para naman dun sa mga nagbabalak magpakabit ng braces and they also have the same questions I had before I had my braces. So, I'm really hoping na makatulong ako sa inyo mga estudyante, mga nanay, mga tatay, ate, kuya na gusto magpakabit ng braces. I will be answering the same questions I had last year. So, bakit nga ba ako nagpakabit ng braces? I remember when I was still in high school, may isang nanay na taga doon sa amin na nag-comment about my teeth. Sabi niya, alam mo, Niza, ang maganda ka sana eh. Kaso, ang pangit na ngipin mo. So, since then, I, I promised to myself na pag nakapagtapos ako ng pag-aaral ko at nakapagtrabaho, I will prioritize my teeth. Magpapakabit ako ng braces para maging pantay-pantay siya. So, hanggang sa nagkatrabaho na nga ako at nakapag-asawa, nagka-anak, hindi na siya naging priority. So, I forgot about, about having braces. Until one night, na panaginipan ko na naglalak na daw yung joke ko, nagagrind yung mga ngipin ko. Hanggang sa isang isang gabi, na panaginipan ko na nagtanggalan yung mga ngipin ko dahil sa dahil sa malakas na pag-grind nila. So to cut story short, nagpatingin ako sa isang dentist and inadvise niya ako na kailangan ko ng magpakabit ng braces para maayos na yung bite kasi I have cross bite and sungki-sungki yung ngipin ko. So there, I don't know it. And he also explained to me na if it will not be fixed immediately, it might affect my overall health. So I don't know if it was just a marketing strategy, but I believed him. And I really believe him until now. So, so that's it. I had my braces on. And thanks God, after how many years na tapad na rin yung pangarap ko, yung pangako ko sa sarili ko na ipapaayos sa ngipin ko. So, hindi pa siya totally ayos, pero it's on the process. In fairness, malaki na rin yung improvement niya. So, look at these pictures. Itong pictures na to ay one, ito yung, ito yung ngipin ko bago ako magpakabit ng braces. And yeah, hindi talaga siya maayos. Actually, itong mga picture na to, maayos pa tingnan yung ngipin ko dyan. Kasi, kasi inaangguluhan ko yung mga pictures ko. Pero in reality, sobrang sungki talaga, lalo na sa baba, sa lower teeth ko. Sobrang sungki-sungki siya. I'm gonna show you uh, this picture. This one. So, yan. Ganyan, ta ganyan po yung ngipin ko before. So, what's the process in having your brace installation? Una, maghahanap ka ng clinic na affordable, kaya ng budget mo, and at the same time, well-established. So, if the clinic is well-established, you will have this confidence na you are getting the quality of service that you deserve with the amount of money that you are investing to them. It would also help if you will ask Um, former patients na nagpakabit na ng braces sa clinic na yon para makarinig ka rin ng mga reviews kung gaano kaganda yung service doon or not. Next process is you will have your x-ray. So you will have you will you will have an x-ray for both your upper and lower teeth and kasi titingnan din nila yung bite mo kung may problema ka rin sa bite mo. In my case, I have cross bite so that's really my main problem aside from its sungki. And anyway, kapag naayos na rin yung sungki mo maayos na rin yung bite mo sa X-ray ko, it's 1,000 for upper and 1,000 for lower. That's a total of 2,000. So you really have to prepare yourself in terms of money pag magkakapapakabit ka ng braces. And oh, by the way, before you had your X-ray, of course, 
i-examine muna ng dentist yung teeth mo if you are qualified for braces. Kasi may mga cases na hindi sila qualified ng braces. I actually read an article na nagpakabit siya ng braces. Tapos, ang nangyari, nag nabubungi yung mga ngipin niya paunti-unti. So, yun pala, yung case niya ay hindi qualified for braces. Kalimutan ko yung pangalan ng sakit na yun. Pero it's an issue with your teeth na hindi talaga pwede yung braces. And once you already have your x-ray, isasubmit mo na siya sa clinic, sa dentist mo, and you will just wait for, you know, you will just wait for his advice kung kailan na yung braces installation mo. And that's it. After you submit your x-ray, 3 to 4 days, ikakabit na yung braces mo. And next question, gaano nga ba kasakit ang magpakabit ng braces? And uh, gaano kasakit ang ngipin? Gaano din kasakit kapag magpapa- adjust ka ng braces. So, again, it's case-to-case -case basis. Kasi in my case, nanganak na ako, so medyo mataas na yung pain tolerance ko. Sa iba, sobrang sakit daw. Like, from 1 to 10, it's 10. Sobrang sakit daw. If I'm gonna rate it from 1 to 10, 1 is the lowest and 10 is the highest in terms of pain. For me, it's just 5, maybe 4 nga. And it's more of discomfort more than pain. Ganito siya, ngumuya ka ng pagkain. Yung ngiting mo, pakiramdam mo, hindi sila nagtatama. Like, ang lambot niya, okay, ganun, sobrang lambot niya sa pakiramdam na hindi siya nagtatama. And that's the reason why you will be advised to have soft diet after your brace installation and every after your um, teeth adjustment or braces adjustment. So don't worry, hindi talaga siya masakit. It's more of discomfort. Pero masasanay ka din mga siguro 2 months after your brace installation, it would feel like nothing. Now let's proceed to the braces essential. So for my brace essential, I have this handy pouch. I have everything in here, all or everything I need for my um, braces, for, for caring for my braces. So I have my face mask. I know this is not a brace essential, but you know, yung pollution dito sa Pilipinas, malala. And for me, the number one brace essential is wax. Ito talaga yung pananggamo sa mga singaw. Uh, there would be cases na magsusugat yung mga labi mo. There. So, kailangan mo ng wax. And usually, mabibili to sa mga Watsons or Mercury Drugs. And this is also available in your clinic kung saan ka nagpakamit ng braces mo. So, ang gagawin mo, paano ba gamitin to? Kukuha ka lang ng kaunting peraso. So, mapapansin nyo, konti na lang siya. Kasi I use it almost every day. So, kuha ng konting peraso. Tapos, iro-roll mo siya. Katulad ng ginagawa mo sa kanin pag wala kang magawa sa buhay. Tapos, ilalagay mo na sa... Tapos, ilalagay mo na sa bracket mo kung saan kung saan yung may sumasakit. Minsan kasi yung lips mo nagrarab doon sa uh, ang tawag doon sa bracket mo kaya nagsusugat. Para maiwasan yung pagdikit ng lips mo sa braces mo, lalagyan mo siya ng wax. Next, number two, brace essential is my soft peak. So you can buy this from your clinic. This is also available in Watsons and Mercury Drugs. Makakabili ka rin ng ganito sa mga Japan-Japan store. Miniso, something like that. Mga ganon. Alam ko meron sila dun like 6 pieces na siya for 60 pesos, 66 pesos. Ito, galing to sa Japan-Japan store. <laughs> Anim na peraso, meron ka ng safe naman siya gamitin. So, ganun lang din naman yung yung quality niya sa mga mabibili mo sa uh, clinic mo. There. And of course, your toothpaste and your toothbrush, kailangan hindi mo, mo hindi mo awala yan. Pero, most of the time, ito, ito talaga yung lifesaver ko. Kasi yung mga yung mga sumisingit na mga pagkain na hindi natatagal ng toothbrush, ito yung pananggal niya. Okay, so yun lang yung braces essentials mo. The rest, hindi na siya talaga importante. And there would be even times na yung mga sumisingit na pagkain, pag nasanik ka na sa braces mo, kaya na siyang abutin ng dila mo. Okay, ngayon naman bibigyan ko kayo ng tips para mas mapadali pa, para mas mapadali para sa inyo yung braces journey nyo. Hindi kayo mahirapan masyado. So number one tip ko para sa inyo, bago kayo magpakabit ng braces, kumain muna kayo ng bongga. Like, heavy meal. Kumain kayo ng heavy meal, magbang inasal na kayo under rice. So, lahat ng gusto nyo kainin, kainin nyo na before kayo magpakabit ng braces. Kasi pag nagpakabit na kayo ng braces, hindi talaga kayo literal na makakakain ng maayos. And also, before ka magpa-adjust ng braces mo every month, kumain ka muna ng marami bago mo gawin yun. Pangalawa, 
Follow your doctor's advice, follow your dentist's advice na mag-soft diet ka for at least one week after your brace installation. Kasi yung mga bracket mo, they might fall off and mas magagastusan ka pa. Kasi like sa clinic, kung saan ako nagpap- nagpakabit ng braces at nagpapa-adjust every month, kapag natatanggal yung isang bracket, nagbabayad ako ng 300 pesos para sa re And aside from that, pag natang- nawala mo yung, yung bracket mismo, yung maliit na bracket na nilalagay dito sa ngipin mo, magbabayad ka ng 500 pesos every, for every bracket. So, sobrang mamamahalan ka. So, mag-soft diet ka muna, tiis-tiis muna, tiis ganda, tiis gutom. Kasi, in the first place, ginusto naman natin to. <laughs> and number three tip, bring your kit to your essentials, your braces essentials, everywhere you go, like literal na everywhere you go. Because you never know kung kailan mo kailangan yung brace essentials mo. Lalo na yung soft peak at saka yung wax yun talaga yung dapat lagi mong dinadala. So that's my tip number four. You really have to make sure that you always have a dental wax handy kasi you never know kung kailan mo talaga siya kailangan. May mga times na akala mo okay na pero after months na naman, ayan na naman, nagkakasingaw ka na naman. Kasi, kasi yung ngipin mo, continuous yung pag-move niya kasi nga inaayos siya. Number five, be wise in choosing your uh, rubber, your bracket rubber, yung yung ikinakabit na rubber jan na elastic kasi you will be wearing it for one month kaya kailangan ayusin mo pagpili so for me meron lang akong dalawang go to colors whenever i have my brace adjustment so i i go to black and silver yun lang talaga yung dalawa kasi doon ako komportable at para sa akin hindi siya masyadong pansin kapag naka pag black and silver yung yung uh, rubber ko at kahit anong damit Nab- nababagayan siya. Natry ko na rin yung blue ones lang. Ayoko nang ulitin kasi hindi ko nagustuhan. Parang masyadong halatang. May braces ako. And, and natry ko na rin yung red. Ngayon, it's my first time to have red. Ayan, kung nakikita nyo. So, hindi rin siya masyadong halata. Pero pag uwi ko ng bahay after my adjustment, tapos red yung, bra- yung rubber ko. Sabi ni Genesis, mukha daw akong zombie. So, hindi ko na rin ito try yung red. Uh, silver and black lang talaga yung go-to colors ko. Yung para dun sa mga magpapakabit pala ng braces, good luck! And I hope you enjoy wearing your braces, wear it with confidence. I really see to it that I still sound normal. I mean, I still sound the same as before when I when I didn't have my braces yet. So, may, pero case to case pa rin yun. Kaya ngayon naiintindihan ko na yung mga... Yung mga tao, mas maraming S yung lumalamas sa bibig nila. So as for me, hindi naman siya ganun. Uh, manageable naman. Normal pa rin yung pagsasalita ako, katulad pa rin ng dati. Pero there are cases talaga na na ma- mapuprone tayo sa sa mispronunciation, na- nabubulol tayo matalas. Tapos, isa pa talagang struggle for me is nagtatalsikan yung laway ko every time I discuss. So, minsan na-embarrass ako kasi minsan tumatalsik sa estudyante ko. <laughs> so, sa mga estudyante ko dyan, nat- natalsikan ng laway ko, please bear with me. <laughs> Punasan nyo na lang. <laughs> okay, so that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching my video. I really appreciate you guys. And don't forget to share my videos to your friends. And see you next time. Bye!